Hi, myself Sarpan Sruja, my profession, I am computer programmer. This Python programming video series for students, developer, engineers and teacher wants to learn computer algebra system in Python. In this video, we will discuss law of exponent symbolic mathematics using SymPy package. Let's start the discussion with the question, what is symbolic mathematics? Symbolic mathematics deals with the computation of mathematical objects symbolically without evaluating them numerically. x square plus x plus 9 is equal to 10 is a symbolic expression. Any equation in the form of variable x, y, z is a symbolic expression. Evaluating the value of uh, equation by substituting the value of x, y, z into the equation means we are evaluating the equation numerically. Here x is a symbol, you can use any type of graphical character. The use of computer to math manipulate mathematical equation and expression in symbolic form in terms of symbols x, y, z as opposed to manipulating the numerical quantities represented by those symbols. Symbolic mathematics is used development of algorithm solving the complex equations and representing the mathematical objects. According to Wikipedia, in mathematics and computer science, computer algebra is also called symbolic computation or algebraic computation. It is basically a scientific area that refers to the study and development of algorithms and software for manipulating mathematical expressions and other mathematical objects. Julia Mathematica simply is computer algebra system. Let's know about some simply. Simpy is a Python library for symbolic mathematics. About Simpy, it is free, written entirely in Python, a lightweight library. There are three ways to calculate the exponential values in Python. The double strike operator is a shortcut to calculate the exponential value. We will use double strike operator in Simpy package. Built-in power function, which takes two parameters, base and exponent as input and returns the corresponding value. The journal syntax of the function is power. Exponent is a library method of math module. The exponent function in Python allows user to calculate the exponential values with the base set to E. E is a mathematical constant with the value approximately equal to 2.71828. Let's start the work. Let's start our law of exponents using SymPy package. First step is from SymPy import star. First import all the functions from SymPy. Then we have created the five symbols. Also, we turn on the pretty printing. Using pretty printing, we will use symbolic computing, print the expression in symbolic form as we write on the paper using mathematic symbols. Property one, which is product tool, says that if you multiply two exponents with common base, here common base is A, then you can simplify it by just adding the exponent. Then the, we can simplify the expression for example, a raised to power n into a raised to power m, then the product rule says that th this expression is equal to a raised to power n plus m. Suppose our expression is a double strike n multiply a double strike m and we will print it by using init printing method exr shift enter to run the code. Uh, the output will be a raised to power m, a raised to power n is our expression. Now we simplify it, expr dot simplify. When you run the code, the output will be a raised to power m plus n. Let's do it numerically. After substituting the numerical value of n and m exponent n suppose is minus 9 and n value is 4 then the output will be a okay m value is minus n and n value is 4 the output will be 1 by a 5 here the output is a minus 5. What, hap what is going here? We take this negative exponent to the bottom of the fraction 
to make it positive exponent means to say simply I change the a minus 5 minus symbol to plus symbol by taking the exponent into the fraction part of the expression that is simply takes the a symbol to the bottom of the expression or in the denominator to make it in plus sign. Property number 2 power of power. Power rule says that if you see two exponent one top of another a raised to power n raised to power m then you can simplify it by just multiplying the exponent. Let's try it in Python. Expr is equal to a n double strike m expr shift enter and we get the expression a raised to power n raised to power n after substituting value of symbols or variable n and m we will get the result so put the value of n m m expr dot sub sub is method with which we can substitute the value of the numerical value of the symbols into the expression here n comma 3 dot subs m comma 3 expr shift enter okay shift enter and our value is a9 what is going here expression dot substitute value of n is 3 m is 3 and a raised to power 3 raised to power 3 is equal to a raised to power n multiply with raised to power m and equal to a raised to power 9. Property number 3, Caution rule says that if you divide two exponents with common base, with common base a, then you simplify it by just abstracting the exponent. Our expression is a raised to power n divided by a raised to power m in the expression So simply has taken the a fraction part to the numerator with by changing its sign to minus. Now simplify the expression by using by substituting values. And the our expression will become a n minus m or a minus m plus n insert cell above let's substitute the value subs n comma 4 dot subs m comma 11 shift enter 1 by a 7 because the value of m is 11 minus 11 and value of 4 is equal to uh, value of n is 4 minus 11 plus 4 minus 7 a raised to power minus 7 is equal to 1 oblique a raised to power a 7 that is our result in symbolic form the fraction part comes into the numerator side and by changing its sign plus to minus or minus to plus and when you numerically evaluate the reverse process will go on and the minus exponent will come into the denominator if the minus sign is in denominator then it will come to numerator form property number 4 a multiply by b raised to power n now we have a monomial term a b with two quantities a b two symbols are multiplied together and raised to the power then the power is distributed with each of the quantity inside expression is equal to a multiply by b raised to power n expression and the result is a multiply b raised to power n after substituting value of symbol or variables n we will get the result expr dot substitute 
value of n scores minus 4 shift enter we will get 1 by a4 b4 or 4 then a4 b4 property number 5 dividing the two quantity and raised to the power then the power is dis distributed with numerator and denominator our expression is a divided by b raised to power n expression this now let's numerically evaluate it by substituting value sub value of n to a execute the code by pressing shift enter and we will get the result a raised to power 8 b raised to power 8 means to save and this is the symbolic form this is the numerical form we can also put the value of a and b here let's property number six which states that when you divide the two quantities a and b the value will come into the numerator if it is in the if it is in the denominator side with minus sign let's execute the expression dxpr is equal to a divided by b raised to power minus n expr and it is a divided by minus b when you put the value of n expr dot subs n comma 4 shift enter what happened here the power is distributed with both the quantities a minus 4 b minus 4 but what happened b was with a negative exponent in the denominator it will come to the numerator by changing its sign to positive and a comes to the fraction becomes the fraction part of the expression by changing its negative exponent a minus 4 to a plus 4 property number 7 if the power is in minus then you take the both quantities into the denominator and use the product rule expr is equal to 1 divided by sorry a into b minus n expr and the two quantity with a multiplied by b with raised to power minus n now evaluate it numerically expression dot substitute value of put the value of n to minus 2 and enter it will become a square a key to a raised to power 2 b raised to power 2 what going what is going on here we have to put value 2 now a multiply by b raised to power minus n by changing sign it will come to the denominator become the fraction part 1 by a b square by changing its sign min negative to positive and then the product rule is applied onto this monomial term and the exponent is distributed between the two quantities a and b by squaring them property number 8 which states that 1 which states that 1 by a minus n is equal to a raised to power n expression is equal to 1 by a raised to power minus n expression shift and a n and it will become a and by changing its sign from negative to positive it the fraction part will come to the numerator side and its negative sign change to the positive sign 
expression dot substitute value of n to 4 and shift enter a for is our result property number 9 property number 9 states that a raised to power minus n divided by b raised to power minus m both will change their position from fraction denominator denominator become the numerator and numerator become the denominator by changing exponent sign from minus to plus so let's start the work expression is equal to a minus n divided by b denominator minus m e expression and it will become a minus m b plus m from denominator the value goes to numerator by changing its sign after putting the values after substituting the values of variables extr dot substitute n 3 and m 6 shift enter m 6 shift enter b 6 a 3 b 6 and a minus 3 goes to denominator by changing its sign to plus and it will become a 3 property number 10 there are monomial expression with a b quantity and a raised to power n b raised to power m and the both the quantity are raised to power k then the k power will be distributed between the two quantities and a n k multiply with b m k expression is first quantity a raised to power n multiply with second variable b raised to power m and then raised to power k shift enter our expression shift enter is a n b m raised to power k expression dot substitute n value 2 dot substitute m value minus 10 dot substitute k value 3 shift enter and our returning resultant expression is a raised to power 6 divided by b raised to power 30 here n is 2 k is 3 a raised to power 2 into 3 b raised to power minus 10 into 3 k value of k is 3 and a raised to power 6 multiply with b raised to power minus 30 b will come into the denominator side by changing its sign from minus to plus so b will become fraction part and the resultant expression will be a raised to power 6 divided by b raised to power 30 property number 11 which states that when you divide the two polynomial a raised to power m divided by b raised to power m and both will be raised to power k the k will be distributed between the two quantities a and b expression is equal to our expression a divided by b a raised to power n b raised to power m raised to power k expression b is under the denominator side in symbolic computation it will come to the numerator side after changing its sign to minus m let's put the value of n m and k by substituting n 5 dot substitute m 4 and the substitute the value of k to 2 dot you can substitute any value shift enter and the resultant expression is a 10 b 8 a raised to power 5 n a raised to power n n value is 5 b raised to power m m value is 4 and the whole expression is raised to power 2 so the 
k exponent is distributed between the two quantities and it will become a raised to power 5 multiply with 2 and in denominator side b raised to power 4 multiply with 2 is equal to a raised to power 10 b raised to power 8. Let's do a simplifying the problem using exponent 4 a cube b multiply with b minus 5 whole raised to power 4. Expression is equal to 4 a raised to power 3 multiply b raised to power minus 5 and all the expression is raised to power 4 expression shift enter uh, yeah, something wrong 4 multiply with a raised to power cube what happened here b raised to power minus 5 so it will come into the denominator side when you numerically evaluate it so and after putting the power rule we will distribute the power 4 within all the numerical values and symbolic values so 4 raised to power 4 multiply by a raised to power 3 power 4 and this will become a raised to power 12 divided by b raised to power 5 raised to power 4 that will become b raised to power 20 the whole expression will become 256 a raised to power 12 uh, divided by in the fraction part b raised to power 20 and this is our result now let's do the inbuilt power function that is power and we will pass the two variables base and exponent and the result will be 16. Base is our 4 raised to power 2. Exponent function which is part of the math module so import math as m m dot m dot exponent 2. So it will 7.389 because power of e is 2.7 something when it will be multiplied with itself the result will be 7.38. The summary of whole that video is that through SIMP using SIMP we can work in symbol. Here we are working in symbolic form in symbolic form in the variable form. And we can also evaluate the expression by substituting the values of these variables or symbols. These working, these helpful working of symbols, let us, let us to develop algorithm, complex algorithm in which we work only in symbols step by step. And after that we put the numerical values to evaluate the final result. So SIMPI is our symbolic package by using which we can do the symbolic as well as numerical computing. In the next video we will do radicals and fractional exponents for now. Thanks to watching my video and bye for now.